Good morning, Beaver Nation. My name is Aubrey. And my name is Mr. C. Today is Wednesday, October 14th. How's your week been so far? It's been good. How was yours? It's been good. It, it rained a lot more than I thought it was going to mm -hmm. rain. But I thought it would rain at least probably half the day. Half the day. I thought it would rain just a little bit off and yeah. on. But man, it rained all weekend, didn't it? But at least it's getting nicer now, though. Yeah. It's still a little cool outside. I like that. Because mm -hmm. we can have more bonfires. Mm -hmm. You ready for Would You Rather? Yes, ma'am. Let's do it. I'll go. No, you can go first. Okay, I'll go first. Aubrey, because I know that you've been, your class has been studying outer space uh -huh. and the planets. So, would you rather be an astronaut and go to the moon or be an astronaut and go to Mars? Oh, I would go to the moon. The moon? Okay, why is that? <clears throat> Excuse me. I would go to the moon because we learned that, like, you could die on a lot of those planets because they're really cold or they're really hot. Oh, okay. Except for Earth. That's right. Oh, you just made Miss Hughes so proud. <laughs> <laughs> what you got for me? Would you oh, rather... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think I would go... I think I'm like you. I'd go to the moon. The moon. I like moon. to go to the, the, the moon. moon. I'd go to the moon. Would you rather go 500 years in the past or 500 years in the future? Oh. Mm -hmm. I love history and I'd love to see what the past was like. 500 years ago would be like the 1500s. Yeah, but you wouldn't have any electronics. <laughs> yeah, there'd be no internet. Oh, that's, that's too bad, right? Um, I think maybe the future, because that'd be kind of cool to see, mm -hmm. like, what's happened to our family. If, yeah. if I've got great, 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 great grandkids running around, what the what technology's like, that'd be cool. I would go to the future because I want COVID to be done with. Oh, and it will definitely be over 500 years from now, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, that's a good sound reasoning. Mm -hmm. Here's Dr. Huggins with our news and notes for this week. Happy Wellness Wednesday. It's Principal Hogan's here. I hope that each of you is doing well today. The focus of this Wellness Wednesday is reflection, and it is a great time for this, being that we are at the end of the first quarter. Um, a note for parents. Report cards will be in Parent Portal uh, next week. Uh, it's a great tool to review with your child and reflect. And don't forget to visit our website for weekly updates about school. Bye and have a great day. Thank you, Dr. Hogan's. Here's Mrs. Nichols with our quote for this week. Good morning, Beaver Nation. It's Miss Nichols with your quote today. This is one of my favorites. A teacher, Miss McBride or Miss Kelly, you may have known, she painted this quote. And it's by Audrey Hepburn. And she was a famous actress. And it says, Nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. And I love that because in the word impossible is I possible. You can do anything that you put your mind to. So keep trying. Have a great day. Thank you, Mrs. Nichols. Joke time. Joke time. Here we go. Why are pirates called pirates? I don't know. Why? Because they are. <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. That one made me laugh. Good job. <laughs> Here's Mr. Hill with our words for the week. Buenos dias a la Nación de Castores. Esto es Señor Hill con las palabras del día. La palabra del día en español es diversidad. En inglés, diversidad significa diversity. The English word of the day is diversity. Diversity means having people who are different races or who have different cultures in a group. Tomorrow is the final day of Hispanic Heritage Month, el mes de la herencia hispana. I hope that you've learned a lot about Hispanic heritage and culture this month. But remember, you can always celebrate diversity, diversidad, 
in our school, community, and across the globe. Que tengan un buen día, castores. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Birthday time! Birthday time! Birthday time! Let's see what kind of birthdays we got today. Since I'm mostly reading or saying, yeah, reading, I oh, forgot my hat. I'm yeah. going to do this. Okay, good idea. Good plan. Oops, I better do it today. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, so today, the 14th. Andrew in third grade. On the 16th. Ava in fifth grade. Penelope in first grade. Quintrell in fifth grade. Landon in third grade. On the 17th. Gabe. Jacob. <laughs> Let's try that again. On the 17th, Jacob in fifth grade. Cooper in kindergarten. On the 18th. Cooper in kindergarten. Tiante in middle school. And on the 20th. Dylan in middle school. That was, that was rough, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I hope you still have a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everybody. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you had one I more thought coming. That, I thought that was going to fall. Oh, I forgot. That'll happy birthday. Pom happy pom birthday, today. everybody. Happy birthday. Today, the spotlight is on one of our cool counselors. Mrs. Finnegan. All right, Beaver Nation, like Aubrey said, we are here today with one of our cool counselors, Mrs. Finnegan. Here she is over here. Miss Finnegan, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh my goodness. Well, this is my seventh year at Little River, and um, I just feel so blessed and lucky to be here. I love um, all my colleagues, love all my students, and let's see, in my spare time, I like to spend time with my family, um, love my kids, love my dog Cooper and my husband, and I like to shop and go to the beach and love Starbucks. Do you realize that you said you loved your dog before you said you loved your husband? <gasps> that can't be on the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready for the speed round? Here we go with the speed round. <laughs> she might need a minute to compose herself. Yes, here. maybe so. All right, you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Mrs. Finnegan, what is your favorite month? Oh gosh, maybe April. There's only 12 of them. Okay, April. yeah, April. All right, what, who's your favorite music artist? I don't really have one. I just like a lot of different kinds of music. What's your favorite movie? Oh, I have a lot of favorite movies, but I would have to say like the Star Wars yes. original trilogy probably. Um, but then, um, I don't know. I'm not picky either. I, I just don't enjoy a good movie. Who's your favorite Star Wars character? <gasps> Ooh, that would probably have to be um, um, Yoda. Yoda, all right. Mm -hmm. How, what is your favorite thing to order from Starbucks? Ooh, a pumpkin spice white mocha latte. What's your favorite color? I don't have one. I like all the colors, okay. but my least favorite is purple. Your least favorite? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's your favorite season? Ooh, gosh, I guess spring. What was your favorite cartoon as a kid? Probably um, Scooby-Doo and the Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite soft drink? I actually don't like any soft drinks. I don't like anything carbonated. Right. I'm just weird. <laughs> if I wasn't a counselor, I'd be? I would either be um, a lawyer or um, an interior designer like, or, or like a, an architect. Okay. And here's the last one. Who is your favorite teacher to work with? Oh my goodness. I just, I couldn't pick just one because every teacher at Little River is fantastic. And I, like I said earlier, I feel really blessed to work with everybody here. So they're all good. All right, so that is Mrs. Finnegan. As you can tell, she is a true school counselor. <laughs> she didn't want to give me a definite answer on a lot of those questions, did she? That's all right. Tried to trip her up with the last question, couldn't do it. So we love you guys, and hopefully you know a little bit more about Mrs. Finnegan now. Thank you, Mrs. Finnegan. Let's find out where is Aubrey Claire in Durham this week. Hi, Beaver Nation. I'm going to be showing you the clues for this week. This school opened in 1955. Before it was used for the school, the land was used as an airfield and an apple orchard. 
By the mid 80s, this school had almost 2,500 students. Chances are you know someone who went here or somebody who goes here. Comment down below where you think I am. Thank you, Alps. You're welcome. Mm, yeah, okay. I think this is going to be a hard one. What do you think? Maybe. I hope so. Here's Mrs. Walton with this week's random knowledge. Hi, this is Mrs. Walton with some random knowledge about M&Ms. M&Ms were first manufactured by the Mars Candy Company in 1941 in Newark, New Jersey. The two M's stand for Mars and Murray. Mr. Mars came up with the idea and he became partners with Mr. Murray of the Hershey's Chocolate Company. The letter M was printed on the candy in black until 1954. Now it's printed in white. The original M&Ms were red, yellow, violet, green, and brown. Now they're available in over 20 colors. The company's New Jersey factory produces 2 billion M&Ms in 8 hours. That's a lot of M&Ms. See you next time for more random knowledge. Bye! Thank you, Mrs. Walton. 2 billion M&Ms in 8 hours? Do you think that they have like a home size version of that machine? What if you had that in your in your room? I think like a mansion size. Man, but what would you do with what eight, eight billion? Two billion? What would two you do billion. with two billion M and M's? I don't know. I know I cannot eat all of those M and M's. I bet you could try though, couldn't you? I would get sick. Yeah. Well, Beaver Nation, don't forget. This is the last week to send in your push-up videos. So get, get on it, this is it. We'll put them on, whatever I get in, I'll put on Friday. And don't forget to comment down below what you think I should be for Halloween. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had, I think only a couple of people so far have commented. Somebody said I should be a pumpkin. Pumpkin? A pumpkin. And some people say I kind of look like a pumpkin already. <laughs> and I think Mr. Torian's class said I should be Mr. Jingle Bottom. No, I know what you should be. What? You should be the Duke Blue Devil. Ooh, oh, hey, we are looking kind of nice today with our Duke gear on, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> That's it for today, Beaver Nation. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. We love you guys, we miss you, and we will see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Bye. We will see you soon. See you Friday. Oh, free food Friday. Yes, free food Friday.